Someone who's really going in a completely bizarre uh, and insane direction is Fox News so-called Dr. Keith Ablo. Now, if you need a reminder about Dr. Keith Ablo, he's the guy who said that the World Cup was an Obama conspiracy to distract from the real problems. He said that the Oregon school shooting was going to be reported on uh, very incorrectly by anti gun nuts. He said that it was data rage and mobile phones rather than guns that were responsible for the Aurora Batman theater shootings. And he also said that, quote, speaking as a psychiatrist, Joe Biden may be suffering from dementia and might have been drunk during the debate in which he embarrassingly pummeled Paul Ryan. So that's the context, right, for Dr. Keith Ablo. The latest is that he wrote an op ed for FoxNews.com where he says that we need to have an American jihad to spread our system of beliefs and government around the world. Yeah, a Christian version of Sharia law. It's amazing because we're often criticized for saying there's a movement in the US among the right to push a Christian or Judeo Christian version, as the case may be, of Sharia law all over the world and in the country. And we have Keith Ablo here saying exactly that. Here's some commentary from uh, Fox News. They just seem to love these comments from Keith Ablo. Check it out. Well, consider this idea, an American jihad. That's what our own Dr. Keith Ablo is calling for in his new op-ed. He says, quote, an American jihad would embrace the correct belief that if every nation on earth were governed by freely elected leaders and by our constitution, the world would be a far better place. But now Dr. Keith is coming under fire for his idea. Why? Well, he joins us right now from Boston. Keith, let's start with, okay, you're calling for an American jihad. When you say jihad, what do you mean? Well, I looked it up uh, to make sure that I was being consistent with the spirit of the word, which is a struggle against non-believers. Uh, those who don't believe in freedom, who don't believe in autonomy and liberty, are our natural enemies. And we need to again embrace the fact that we have manifest destiny as this country, as Americans, to not only remain American, fundamentally in our own national character, but to spread our national character to other nations such that they would model ours. Hmm. Okay, well, here's the next, sir. It's funny how jihad is really, really a bad thing until Keith Ablo looks up the definition of it and then says we just need like an American version of it. All of a sudden, jihad's not looking so bad. It's amazing. Uh, so I guess because there are people in the world uh, forcing their beliefs on other people, uh, we should go out into the world and force our beliefs on them. Uh, to make sure that they don't force their beliefs on anybody. I was thinking this is one of the least trustworthy doctors on TV. Of course, there's Dr. Oz, and we can't forget about Dr. Oz, but Dr. Keith Ablo is really in the running, I would say, for one of the doctors that you, you should be most distrustful of. Uh, or pretty much any doctor that appears on Fox News and starts uh, and starts saying things like this. Would Keith Ablo be personally picking up, I don't know, if when you fight an American jihad, I don't know if you need guns or Bibles, probably both, some combination of them. Would Keith Ablo be picking up a gun or a Bible or would he leave the actual fighting of this American jihad to the uh, poor and disproportionately minority individuals that are targeted by the American military? Or would he actually go himself? I doubt he'd go himself. He'd, he'd probably uh, reenact the draft or, or something, uh, <laughs> some, something like that. And you do need guns and Bibles, but you could hollow out the Bible and put and a put gun it in it. Yeah, exactly. We have to remember, of course, we have a long history of really successful forced conversions of other governments to our system of government. I mean, we can look at how well it went in Vietnam. We can look at how well it went in Iraq. We can look at how well it went in Afghanistan. We can look at how well it went when the U.S. exerted our influence in Central and South American nations. There's no reason at all to think, Lewis, that it might not work that well to forcibly convert other governments to a system like ours. No, it sounds like a perfectly reasonable thing to do <laughs> with no risks at all.